We have more now on the battle against ISIS. In Iraq, Kurdish forces backed by U.S. airstrikes seized a strategic northern city. They pushed ISIS fighters out of Sinjar. The Islamic militants overran the area a year ago. Charlie Dago, Jihad Tagada, was with the Kurds as they entered the city, and he has the latest from the battlefield. Good morning. The Pentagon says America and its coalition allies conducted 250 airstrikes in and around the city of Sinjar ahead of this ground offensive, paving the way for Peshmerga forces. But there were a few tense moments as ground troops moved in. First, it was just a dozen or so men carefully snaking down the mountain on foot. The rest of the hundreds of fighters watched anxiously to see what would happen next. Young and old, volunteers and regular soldiers ready to take back Sinjar one step at a time. As more men made their way down toward the unknown, we joined them. Gunfire rang out from nearby neighborhoods. A convoy of vehicles was reduced to twisted metal. Kurdish soldiers hauled at least one ISIS fighter away. But most of what we saw of the town was deserted. The trail of destruction from weeks of U.S.-led airstrikes was all around us. Buildings flattened to rubble. Roads scarred with huge craters. Amini Ibrahim, a Yazidi soldier from Sinjar, told us he fled with his baby daughter when ISIS overran the city 15 months ago. This is very dangerous. What are you afraid of as you continue through this village? I'm afraid of the IEDs, he told us, homemade bombs they left behind and the booby traps in the houses. And yet we didn't see any specialists checking for bombs or booby traps today. By the end of the morning, it was clear that ISIS had disappeared, either driven out or had escaped ahead of the assault. Most of the gunfire we continued to hear was in celebration. As we came back down from Sinjar Mountain, we ran into a traffic jam of Yazidis who heard that ISIS had been pushed out of their city and they're desperate to get back home. But with all the destruction, bombs, and risk of a counterattack, that could be several weeks away. Anthony? Charlie Dagada in Sinjar, Iraq this morning. Thanks, Charlie.